Queen is a very strong piece, but it's not the only one. If you manage to combine the remaining pieces, they can create strong attacks against the enemy king. And now I'd like to share with you a fantastic game. It's between Anand with white pieces, the ex world chess champion, and Oil with the black pieces. Now it's uh, Black's turn. And before this uh, particular position, let's see the game from the beginning. And Anand with white pieces start the game with e4, we have e5, knight to f3, knight c6, bishop b5, a6, we have the Spanish, bishop to a4, going for the main line, knight, a6, knight f6, short castling, b5, a typical move in Spanish, bishop to b3, bishop c5, this is not the most popular move, but uh, it's uh, very playable, uh, of course, it's uh, Arkhagel. Uh, variation we have a4 rook b8 c3 d6 d4 try to attack the bishop immediately bishop to b6 knight a3 and usually here black is sacrificing a pawn in order to complete his uh, development and uh, have some uh, compensation for this sacrifice pawn we have short castling a takes b5 a takes b5 knight takes b5 e takes uh, d4 Black try to attack the center immediately. We have c takes d4, bishop to g4, rook e1, and now this is the first, maybe the first position that uh, we may look at. And uh, you can see that uh, these pieces here, these white pieces, are not uh, very stable there because they are unprotected or not very well protected. The rook is there and my attack that pieces, and for that reason, black has some uh, counterplay. And right now, he's attacking the d4 pawn, he pinned that knight, so he has something for that. Something for the sacrificed pawn. And now he has two options. One option is to capture immediately here because one knight is pinned and after knight takes d4, bishop takes b4. Here you can see that uh, queen is a little overloaded because she, she should protect the knight, the bishop and uh, capture here as well. For that reason we might sacrifice first the bishop, rook takes f7, queen takes uh, d4, bishop takes f3, g takes f3, a forcing line, knight h5, and maybe something like that. Now white have a small uh, advantage here, because uh, black cannot capture immediately here. We have a check to uh, capture that knight, and you can see that this rook is uh, active. This was an, um, one of the variations, another one is d5, and uh, black is striking the center. Here white uh, has a dilemma, because if he just pulls the pawn forward, then we can put the knight on e4, and this knight on e4 is very strong. On the other hand, uh, Anand here capture on uh, d5, another normal move, knight takes d5, h3, try to kick away the bishop, bishop h4, and here it could be a mistake to put the knight on c3. It looks strange, but it's not the best move, because we can capture on f3, queen takes f3, and now the d4 pawn is unprotected, for example, knight takes d4, queen takes d5, we can capture here a piece, but we have knight takes b3, the queen has to re recapture, and after that we have a very nice tactic here, it's black stern, what are you going to do? And after this long variation, we have this discover check on f2, and the queen is under attack. So let's move back, and uh, Anand here played g4, try to stop this uh, pin in order to protect this d4 pawn very well, and uh, he's trying to solve his problems. Now we have bishop to g6, knight c3 now, try to put the knight in a nice uh, square, and now we have knight b, knight d to b4. And uh, after that, bishop g5 attacking the queen, queen d7, d5, try to attack the knight, and uh, now probably the best move here was to put the knight on a5 immediately, but uh, the black player played queen to d6. Can you find the idea behind that move? Can you just capture the knight on c6? What do you think? It's wrong to capture the knight, because if you just capture the knight immediately, then the queen can jump on, jump on g3. And this is a check, and unfortunately this pawn on f2 is pinned, so he, it cannot capture the queen. And after king h1, we can capture another pawn, knight h2 for example, and now we have a very strong move, knight to d3. And you can see this knight is uh, really powerful, it's protected by the bishop, and this knight is uh, attacking on f2. 
combine the, the bishop and knight are attacking this f2 pawn and after knight to f2 we can attack, we can attack the king and queen. So white uh, are facing some uh, problems here. Of course uh, the pawn on b2 is unprotected as well, this bishop is not very well protected, so white have some problems despite the fact that uh, he's a piece up. For that reason Anna didn't capture that uh, knight and respect his opponent and he played the fantastic move king f1. You can not see these uh, moves every day because the king is planning to the center, right? But the main idea is to unpin this pawn so the queen cannot go on g3. Now we have knight to a5, bishop e7, attacking the queen and um, the rook in the same time because we remove that knight from c6 and we have queen f4 and uh, now bishop takes f8 it could be an interesting option but again after that knight can jump on d3 this is a very powerful square attacking the rook attacking the pawn attacking the f2 pawn so black have some compensation but the anand here capture first capture this knight on uh, a5 try to eliminate that uh, attacking unit and after bishop takes a5 we have bishop e3 he's trying to solidly protect everything you see the rook here is protecting the knight eyeballing this uh, bishop and he still continue threatening this f8 rook now after for example rook f8 this is not very well uh, move because we have d6 and the idea after that we would like to play d7 attacking the rook and this central board is very very strong for that reason here uh, oil with black pieces retreats the bishop on b6 attacking the rook and now we have knight to e2 attacking the queen queen h6 the pawn on h3 is under attack the rook here is under attack, the rook on f8 is under attack and for that reason this game is a little complicated. The king went on g2, what else to do in order to protect that pawn and now we have bishop takes uh, e3 and uh, here Anand played, uh, played a very nice move, he played g5 attacking the queen and now it's the diagram position and um, you are very welcome to pause the video and try to think by yourself, of course the position is difficult and we have a lot of options. What do you think? One option is to capture immediately on g5. Probably this is uh, the most logical option, but after that we can capture on g5 and you can see the queen is trapped, almost trapped here, because after queen um, h5, for example, we can definitely trap the queen, maybe not on g3, it's playable, but better is to go on f4 and now the queen cannot go anywhere. This is white's idea, but uh, black can save himself with this move, bishop to c2, a very nice move because we are attacking the queen and create um, an escape square, an escape line for the queen. For example, after uh, bishop takes f2, queen a6, bishop e4, uh, white have, um, black have some compensation for the material and the, the position is unclear this is one good option for sure another option is to go on h5 but this is uh, not very good because now white can play knight to g3 and the queen is trapped and uh, here black uh, captured knight 3 and this is a very nice uh, move because he he just captured a rook here on e3 right and after g5 he can capture another pawn and he is continue capturing material now we have king takes h3 and knight to d3 what is uh, black's threat of course he would like to capture here on f2 attacking the king and queen and uh, for this sacrifice black have a lot of initiative he sacrifices his queen in order to create problems and you can see that black light square pieces are coordinated very very well and even this bishop on b3 have some problems for example if uh, this is the first variation if he just captured here we have the double attack king g2 and knight takes uh, d1 and the black had a better position and uh, Anand here played a very nice move queen a1 very logical move and you can see now that uh, the bishop on e3 is under attack the rook is under attack and we have knight takes f2 this is a check try to um, solve some problems king to g2 and now he can capture on b3 but uh, this is not the best because 
white can capture on f8, king takes f8 and now e, e, knight e d4 and uh, everything looks more solid here. This was a very nice move because not only protect the pawn but uh, keep an eye here on a8, try to give some checks, the knights now are protected in each other and the rook is under attack. So white's a little better here, white is uh, clearly better here. And uh, he just went rook f e8, try to save the rook and attack the bishop in the same time and now the best he played a very nice move queen a3 try to protect both bishops with the queen the queen is protecting the a7 and b3 in the same time we have knight to d3 and now Anon didn't play the best move the best move here is to play bishop a6 because he is attacking the rook on e8 and now black should use all of his imagination and he should capture here on b2 he is trying to create uh, a mating uh, attack he is threatening to create some put some mating threats here because he is threatening uh, the knight on e2 right and the uh, queen cannot capture the rook of course because the knight is protecting that rook, that rook on b2 but he can capture on e8 and after that we can deliver a check on e2 king g3 bishop e4 king g4 rook g2 and you can see that the white king is uh, in a very bad position after king h3 we have rook g3 and now king h4 because if he goes here then we can capture the knight with uh, check this is another option or we can capture the knight definitely but we have a checkmate in uh, two moves of course you can pause the video and try to find it it's a cool checkmate and if he goes here and after king h3 we can deliver checkmate with a knight and something similar could happen after this discovered check if he goes on h1 we can deliver another checkmate with a knight so let's uh, move forward he, after we are still in uh, the variation this didn't happen in the game and after this check he can go on h4 and now we have a very very beautiful move bishop f5 creating the mating net and after that uh, black is threatening h3 and this is a checkmate for example d6 and this is a checkmate let's go back in, from this uh, very long variation of course White can play other moves, but uh, bishop a4 is very nice, and here he should not capture the rook. But in any case, during the game he played um, a logical move, knight to c3, and now black uh, continue with bishop to c1. And black is better here, he's better because he's threatening a lot, a lot of material. He's threatening the pawn, the queen is not very strong because she has a defensive role. And white pieces are not coordinated. We have knight to d1 now, bishop e4, bishop a4, and now black missed an opportunity here. Of course, the position is very complicated. I'm not blaming the black uh, player. It's really hard to play that position. And I'm show, showing you this game because it's a beautiful game and uh, we have a lot of uh, exciting moments. And uh, the best move was rook a8. Black didn't play that move because the bishop is pinned. He saved his uh, rook here and he's threatening to capture on d6, on uh, e7, sorry. And uh, after that, he cannot capture here because we can capture the queen, of course. But after king to g3, for example, try to um, go, go out from this uh, pin because the knight here on f3 was pinned as well. And now after king to g King to g3, we have a check here, king g4, h5, another check, g takes uh, h6, and now we have f5, another check, and you can see that uh, white still face some uh, problems here, definitely black has some counterplay, but during the game he played immediately knight to e5, a very logical move because he is trying to attack this f3 knight. But now Anand capture on e8, rook takes e8, king g3, bishop takes f3 and now a very nice uh, move, queen is uh, very powerful in order to create uh, double attacks and attack uh, a lot of targets simultaneously and he played queen to c3 and you can see now the knight is under attack, the bishop is under attack, if the knight goes somewhere then we can capture the bishop so queen is very powerful here and if he just capture on e7 then we can capture on it's we should be careful here because 
capturing on C1 maybe it's not the best because you can capture on D5 and now black pieces are coordinated very well for example after queen to C5 we can put the rook on D7 and the black is solidly protect everything it's really hard to do something with white now because black pieces are very active but the best move here is D6 not only attacking the rook but try to to use the weakness on the back rank you can see that uh, if the pawn captured on d6 for example then we can deliver a checkmate here with uh, the queen for that reason he should not capture the pawn but he should play something like rook e8 but then we can capture on c7 and you can see now that white is threatening to push the pawn forward he is threatening the knight as well the bishop as well for that reason uh, it's not recommendable to capture on e7 immediately because we have this powerful move d6 and uh, he just capture here on uh, d1 this is uh, another move to capture on d1 white is winning here because uh, the queen is very powerful queen takes e e5 and uh, he protect the bishop and attack the c7 pawn as well bishop a4 and b4 this was the last move and uh, Anon won the game why because he would like to capture here on c7 and after that to put the pawn the bishop on c1 is under attack as well for example bishop b2 and after that he would like to put uh, the pawn on d6 and then to push it forward on d7 and definitely here black will lose material because uh, he should sacrifice the rook or white the bishop on d7 or white will create a new queen i hope you enjoyed this uh, complicated a very nice game and uh, both players played uh, very well here after this uh, queen sacrifice queen takes h3 and we have a lot of exciting moments i hope you enjoyed it of course you are very welcome to click the thumbs up button and uh, talk to you soon all the best